Hey, it's Sam here. And before you ask, the answer to your question is yes, you can add digital products to WooCommerce and sell them in your online store. In fact, you don't even need a plugin to do this as it's a supported feature in the core of WordPress. I'll show you how to set up these downloadable products in a moment, but I also wanna talk a little bit about the business of selling digital products online. I'll give you some advice about marketing and other keys to success in this niche. In terms of starting a business, e-commerce has never been easier. By leveraging digital files such as eBooks, courses, artwork, photography, and software, you can start a business with next to no upfront costs. All you need is a laptop, a good idea, and some time, and of course, a WooCommerce shop to actually sell your products. Now, to clarify, this is not a video about how to come up with your idea or design your digital product. For that, you will have to look elsewhere. But I will tell you how to list your digital products in your WooCommerce shop and go through all of the settings with you. And I'll even recommend a plugin from Barn2 that will help to streamline the customer journey. Let's get into it, shall we? I'm gonna skip a few steps and assume that you already have a WooCommerce shop up and running. If you've gone through a tutorial and set up your WooCommerce shop from the start, this may be a little bit different because it may have set you up for selling physical products. This tutorial is gonna talk about selling digital products exclusively. So that is where we will begin. So these are the basic settings that you need to modify to create your digital product selling store. So go to WooCommerce and click on settings. Under general settings, make sure that the tax rates calculation is enabled. Then click on products and click on downloadable products. Then make sure this setting is enabled, grant access to downloadable products after payment, and click on inventory. And you're going to disable stock management entirely and save changes. Click on payments and make sure you have a payment method enabled such as Woo Payments or PayPal, um, but do not enable cash on delivery or check payments. Again, save those changes. Then go to emails and read through the different email notifications and click on manage for any of them, such as processing order or completed order. And make sure you update the text to reflect what you actually want to tell the customer in these emails, as these are very basic and plain without some modifications. And you can save them and update the rest as needed. Now that we got some of those basic settings out of the way, it's time to add some digital products to your store. I'm going to use the example of an ebook that I've written. Now, I haven't actually written the book, but it's just for illustrative purposes. So to add a new digital product, you can go to products and click on add new. Then we have all the standard product information, such as the name of the product, product description, short description, and so on. I'm just going to enter all of that and meet you in a second. So in this example, I'm selling an ebook, Digital Nomad 101, a practical guide to starting remote work. I've added the long description and short description. By the way, I used AI to generate this text. And now we scroll down to the very bottom and we can set a price. So let's just set it at $19.99. And we can click virtual. This is a virtual product and it's downloadable. Now this is going to add a little box here for downloadable files. So you can add the file here and choose the file. You can upload the file and you can insert that. Uh, this is going to be the product itself and you can give that a name. You can also add multiple files, but one is enough. You can set the download limit, or you can leave it blank. If you leave it blank, then people can re-download it as many times as they like. And you can set the link to expire after a certain number of days if you want to. Now over here on the left, go to inventory. You can limit purchases to one item per order. I recommend doing this. Make sure to add it to a category for organizational purposes. So you can create a new category, call it eBooks, for example. And now there it is in eBooks category. And you can also add a tag for example, digital nomad and so on. One thing I literally just forgot is to add some product images. So you want to add an image so people can see what they're going to be purchasing, even though it's a digital file, you can upload that and set that as your product image. 
You can also add additional gallery images if necessary. And to create these images, I literally just used Canva. So I just used the templates, ebook cover, and I created the text myself, and I got AI to create this image as well. And you can save the draft, or you can publish that immediately. Let's check it out. Now I'm running the 2024 theme on my shop at the moment, which is why my store looks the way it does. But in general, we have the name of the product, the price, the description, and the add to basket option, as well as all of the images here on the left. You might be interested to know how a digital order is processed. So let's take a look at that now. After completion of the order, the customer will be given permission to download the purchase products. They'll receive the download links for the items on the order received page, and they'll get an email notification, which also contains the download links. Then they can also see the download links when they're logged into your website on their My Account page. The great thing about digital products is you can list a lot of them on your site, and the costs don't typically increase for having more of them, unless you're developing software, and my boss can tell you more about that. What I mean is people like travel vloggers can create their travel guides. Because the store is already there, adding a new product doesn't really cost you anything. Take another example where a website might be selling tickets for events. And those events come up quite often and they have many different tiers of pricing. In this case, having a product table with a list of all the different prices and products in one place can be a handy way to let customers know what you are offering. So as I've already hinted at before, we are a software company and we make plugins. One of these plugins is WooCommerce product table. Now WooCommerce product table will take all or some of your items from your shop and list them in a nice table format. This can make it easier for customers to see all of your products in one place and decide which ones they want to purchase. And they can purchase different items in bulk if that's something you want to offer. You can purchase a copy of the WooCommerce product table plugin from our website. The link is in the description below. Then you can install it using the add new plugin option and upload plugin, drop the zip file there and install it. If it's your first time with this plugin, you'll just need to quickly jump through the setup wizard. I would leave most of the settings as they are by default, but if you need to read through and change a few based on your preferences, that's fine as well. The default should work for most people. Just make sure that the table plugin is enabled to be displayed on your shop and category pages. That way people will see it when they go to your store. And once it's enabled, people can scroll through your list of items and decide which ones they want to buy. And they can even see variations on different rows if you enable that option. That way they can compare the slightly different variations of the same product if they're available. Well, it's all well and good to list your digital products on your website and put them up for sale, but successful entrepreneurs in the digital product niche have a steady stream of customers finding their products through their various different forms of online content. Just to give you an example, four years ago, I picked up a camera and started a travel vlog. It was during COVID, so not a lot of people were traveling and it took a little while for the videos to pick up. But when they did, it was crazy. We had over half a million views and 10,000 subscribers in our first year. The problem was, I didn't really know how to monetize that audience. And if I'd known about WooCommerce at the time and how to create a travel guide using something like Canva, then I could have created such a guide, listed it on my website with WooCommerce, and advertised it through my videos. I would have had tens of thousands of people seeing that product every day, and potentially a few of them would have clicked through to the website and purchased it. And I can tell you at the time, that would have been life-changing. But there's countless other examples of this sort of thing in action. People who understand SEO and have a blog, for example, can write content that will rank in Google search and that will bring people to their website and eventually they will be able to see your products through your content. Another example would be TikTok. If you create short form videos that are easy to create, millions of people can see them and potentially click through the link to your store as well. It will take a little bit of time to build up an audience, but many times I've seen people blow up on TikTok way sooner than they would on YouTube or if they were running a blog. So if you wanna start quickly, that might be a good way to go. So now it's over to you to get started with your business. You've learned how to list your products on WooCommerce, and you know that you can always upgrade your site with Barn2 plugins as well. Build yourself a content channel and an audience that you can sell to, and watch your side hustle grow into a real business that earns you real cash. I'm not gonna say that it's easy or that it's gonna happen quickly, 
but why not give it a try? If you need more help with WooCommerce product table, check out this video next. It has all the details you need. And as always, thanks for watching.